Hey guys, welcome back to 999. We escaped the first class puzzle room, and now we're heading forth. Hmm? That should do it. What's he up to? I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Nice. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? That's good, because that safe is in there, still locked, and that's bothering me. Ah. Why would you want to come back here? I might like to play a little piano. <laughs> piano? Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. Well, then? Mm. Who am I to deny a man his piano? Can't say I could ever imagine Seven playing the piano. He couldn't use the piano in there anyway. The keyboard's a mess. But why would he want to leave the door unlocked, then? <sighs> I have no clue. Hey, wait for me! I was lost in thought, I apologize. Whoa, a, a metal grate? Why is this thing... Oh, and then the other side is from the other room, which means that should go into the kitchen, right? Figures. Are those elevators over there? No way to know if they're working or not from here. It looks like they've got the symbol for Lotus on them. You remember that joke? It was a good joke, Junpei. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. Yep. Stairs leading down. They're blocked by the grate, though. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Nah, I think it's locked, too. Look. What's this mark? The female symbol? Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Probably. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? Yes. They reference many of the solar bodies. Oh, th that's right. The Sun. Mm-hmm. Saturn. And Earth. And Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely... Venus. Not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. Cool, cool. So I assume. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. Where's Seven? Ah, there he is, down that hallway. This way, Snake. Follow me. Hmm, I wonder if this door will... How about that? It opens. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I like it. Wow. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Well, this is troubling. It mm. seems we are once again locked in. Even Man. if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. True. So we must find another exit then. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling. Let's go. Quickly let's now. Let's go. I, okay, let's go. Puzzle 2! Let's go! Ah, uh, Bakura. You ever played Jupei? Nope. No, uh, never. Alright then, how about I explain the rules to you a bit? Go ahead. See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way okay. each hand works is different from other games, too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? I'll pretend like I do. Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The hmm. single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9, and the weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. Oh, 
Oof. And we're out. This way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. Mm-hmm. And we have the key, except we are going to open the grate next time. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys for the next episode.